What's going on, everybody? Hope everyone is doing incredible. Uh, today's video is going to be about lease purchase, uh, the psychology behind the lease purchase from a company's point of view or a financial uh, company's point of view. Uh, why do they sell uh, company drivers on lease purchases? Because I touched about this in the last video and what it does is it reduces the company's responsibility um, for um, uh, for having an employee. Basically, you're, you, you know, you go from employee to contractor. So if you're working for a company, ABC, and they put you uh, and and they're you're their employee they have to play pay payroll tax on you they have to play uh, um, uh, have unemployment insurance on you they have to have workman's comp um, and some other stuff you know so and that stuff that the employee doesn't see uh, they have to pay a percentage of that you know the company has to pay a little bit uh, the employer has to pay a little bit so it's not just cut and dry like we all wish you could you know <clears throat> you work you know your hours and then you just get a paycheck you know, we wish it all was that simple um, so that's how that works so what they do is they say hey let's get a give put this guy in a lease purchase or whoever and so basically what that does is they don't have to pay all those uh, fees associated with having an employee so basically that person becomes a contractor and the contractor is responsible for all those you know your unemployment and all that other stuff um, depending on how your business is structured and all that kind of stuff so it re reduces the responsibility of the of the employer or you, the, the person that you're working for um, in regards to business so I hope you follow me I hope this makes sense so under an employee if you got you know get paid uh, 100 bucks 200 bucks a day you know gross and all your taxes and everything like that then the company is responsible for paying their portion of that uh, and then you're responsible for, for, for paying your your portion if you're a contractor or lease purchase you get a 1099 at the end of the year and you're responsible for all those fees uh, depending on how you're structured um, if you want more information on that do your research you know what I mean um, so let's get into the psychology behind the lease purchase in most cases the financing companies and the, the companies that offer lease purchases even though they're looking they're presenting it as if it's in your best interest or it will be a benefit for you in some ways it is but remember they always have a hidden agenda and their hidden agenda is to let's say they 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 have this piece of the, the this piece of equipment and and they're going to try to make as much money off that piece of equipment as possible so this guy uh, takes on a lease purchase whether there's no money down or you put money down up front either way you're still going to pay you either you pay it up front or you pay it uh, spread out over the you know over the, the duration of the, the contract so they're counting on you not to fulfill your contract and not to pay that truck off so what they did, what do they do? They bring somebody else in. They get another down payment, and they get more payments on top of this truck, for this truck. And oh, that guy didn't uh, uh, fulfill his contract. Oh, we'll bring somebody else in. Now during this 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 all this uh, uh, this uh, what do you call it? Um, out of all these people that were in the truck. These people are supposed to maintain that truck, tires, brakes, um, and you know all the maintenance and, and and PMs and all that kind of stuff. So basically, they're reducing their responsibility. You know the company is, 
and you're thinking you're getting a good deal, which you could be. I don't know. I'm just giving you just how I see things uh, just because I step back and I, I look at it. Now, is everybody like that? I'm sure they're not. Um, so you just have to, you know, be very conscious of, of, of things like these. So where did I learn this from? And, and how, did I come, how did I come to this conclusion? Number one, I don't know everything. I just look at different, I look at different businesses and I see, oh, okay, well that can be applied over here, this can be applied over there, blah, 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 blah. The real estate business. I used to be into real estate. I've studied a lot of um, uh, real estate investing courses um, and things of that nature. So, and one of the strategies in lease in, uh, in the real estate business, real estate investing business, you know, the we buy houses, uh, is the lease purchase. And that's what a lot of guys try to shoot for rather than wholesaling, okay? So, in the real estate part of it, uh, you can buy a house on lease purchase or rent to own. Same thing, lease option. Same thing, it's all the same. They may change the words, but it's all the same. So, and, and, and the subject of real estate, there's a house where you see a house for sale, uh, rent to own, or lease purchase, whatever. You put your money down, five grand, six grand, seven, ten grand, whatever, and then you make the payments over the duration of the contract. Um, if you do not fulfill your contract, you're out of the house. So what does Mr. Real Estate Investor do? He puts the house back up on the market, lease purchase, and then he gets another 10 grand, five grand, six grand, 10 grand, and throughout the duration of that contract, he's getting payments. It, 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 uh, the renter is paying off the house and also taking care of any issues that come along with the house. So, mm -hmm. so, now, transition, take real estate out and insert trucking, lease purchase trucking, same thing. So that's why you see uh, these companies, you know, you go there and say, oh man, here's a 2016 with only 10,000 miles on it. Yeah, I mean, somebody, they bought this truck, somebody financed this truck, wherever they got the truck from, there was somebody in it, and the person said, you know what, this isn't for me. So, and they just keep turning it over and turning it over and turning it over until hopefully somebody, in their mind, hopefully somebody will, you know, they'll pay it off. Or maybe they hope they don't pay it off. I mean, I don't know. So, and I'm sure that somewhere in this, um, in this process, somebody writes that, that truck off as a loss. I don't have 100% facts on that. But just the way that you know the tax, the tax codes are written and the tax laws are written, I'm pretty sure somebody writes that that truck off as a loss for the full retail amount, and then what that's going to do is reduce the, uh, the tax liability at the end of the year, for you know so you know instead of having to pay tax on this amount, it reduces their tax expense because it's a loss at retail value. It's in the tax laws. I have, you know, <laughs> learned the tax laws, man. So hopefully that was a, a little clear um, on the lease purchase, how, you know, it's not in their best interest. It's not in your best interest. Most, uh, excuse me, let me rephrase that. It's in the company's best interest to sell lease purchases or to finance lease purchases for guys. Uh, because in the long run, they don't want you to fulfill your contract and, and buy the truck. They just want to keep making a profit over and over and over off that piece of equipment. Now, are there successful lease purchase uh, operators out there? Yep, it sure is. Um, a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication. Um, so for those guys that, that have done it, um, Make some videos. Put some videos out. How to be a successful, 
how to successfully, you know, finish your lease purchase contract. You know, let's hear it. You know what I mean? Let's hear it. Um, Cause I don't know everything, you know, I'm just, I'm just here, man, trying to give you a little bit of information that I know. That's all.